Now that the folder structure is created and ready to go, let's transfer the files from the camcorder to the correct location on the computer. First, connect your camcorder to your computer. Once the camcorder has been identified, a dialog box will appear. We want the digital files so we can edit them in Windows Movie Maker. Therefore, click Open Folder to view files. We can now see the digital guts of our camcorder, so let's navigate to our video files. Depending on the camcorder you're using, this might look a little different. But in this example, we'd click on the DCIM folder, then the 100 video folder, which is sometimes called the 100 media folder, to reveal our footage. These are the files we want to transfer to our computer. Now, let's go back to the folder containing these files and right-click on the 100 video folder and select Cut. Next, we'll navigate back to the raw footage folder in our organized folder structure, right-click, and select Paste. This will now take the files off the camcorder and move them into the correct location within your new folder structure on your computer. Once the file transfer has completed, we are going to rename the 100 video folder a very specific way. We suggest using the date, starting with the year, the month, the day, then a dash, and finally, the name of the event. Remember, someone else in your organization may be working with your videos in the future, so it is extremely important to keep the files and folders organized. In this instance, we'll be working with CGLA's Office Move video, so we'll rename the folder 2012 0101, the dash, and then Office Move. Now that we've renamed the folder, let's double click to enter the Office Move folder and rename all the video files at once. Select all the video files by either the click and drag method, or select one file and then hold down Control and press A. Now right click on the first video, select Rename, and enter the same name as the containing folder. In this instance, we'll type 2012-0101, a dash, and office move, and hit enter, and voila, all the videos are instantly renamed. This may seem unnecessary now, but it's good to get in the habit of keeping your files organized before they overwhelm your hard drive and you have no idea what to delete. It may not seem like an issue when you have one or two projects, but when you have 10 or 15, it can get out of control very quickly. So with all the video files transferred from the camcorder to your computer, it's time to eject the camcorder in the proper manner. Click the arrow at the bottom right of the screen and select the USB icon. Select Eject Flip Video Camcorder, or the name of the camera you're using, and when the Save to Remove Hardware notification pops up, you may safely remove your device. We now have all of the video files off the camcorder, on our computer, and renamed within the new folder structure. In the next video, we'll walk through how to import our files into Windows Movie Maker.